what Salesforce certification should you get as a developer? There's a ton out there. Is it platform developer one, JavaScript one, admin? There's so many different certifications out there. What should you actually get? Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. And in this video, I'm gonna help go over which certifications I recommend to get on the path to being a Salesforce developer. Now, I've been in the Salesforce ecosystem for seven plus years. I have 15 certifications as of right now. I probably have more. And it's kind of hard to know which ones you should go for. So in this video, I'm gonna help break down exactly the ones that I recommend that you go for. Last time I checked, there are over 25 Salesforce certifications, and now there are accreditations coming out. I think there are new certifications that have already come out just in this past week, depending on when you're watching this. <laughs> there may be new ones or maybe not. So what are employers actually looking for these days? Do certifications actually matter? I think it's, it's a mixed bag because there's one hand of getting certification and there's the other hand of programming and computer science, and there are other credentials and accreditations that go along with that. So it's hard to know which ones to really focus on. For Salesforce developers, the Platform Developer One certification is the tip of the top. It's, in my opinion, the most important one that you need to get to break into a Salesforce development role, and recruiters and companies are looking for that one specifically. Getting the PD-1 cert really means that you understand the basics of the Salesforce platform specifically for development. It checks all the boxes on that, like resume filters when you submit those things. And getting this cert is extremely important, but it's actually not the one that I recommend you first to get. As an aspiring Salesforce developer, I actually don't recommend the Platform Developer 1 certification first. One quick disclaimer, this is my recommendation. I recommend it to my students. It's the path that I would follow now um, if I was just starting out in the Salesforce ecosystem. But you know, you can you your mileage may vary. You don't have to listen to me. Uh, all of this is a learning process, so take it with however that helps out. But this is how I would go about it now, knowing the things that I know about Salesforce development. So for every developer, I actually recommend that they start out with the admin certification. Do y'all remember when I just said that Salesforce has a ton of certifications and they're adding new ones all the time? Well, they kind of just added a new one while I was recording this video, which is good and bad, at least from a few things that I said here. So I'm going to revise this a little bit. Salesforce released this Salesforce associate certification, which is more on the fundamentals of Salesforce. So you know what things are like objects, record types, fields, you get the basics of Salesforce and you might be able to find a junior like business analyst or even admin type of role. This sits you around like six months of experience. You know, you can do a little bit of reporting. You're still learning the ropes. It's good for confidence building. So a lot of the things that I say in this video still stands. I think that you should get the admin certification and it's a really great stepping stone for you. But this associate cert might be good to just add on top of all the certs that you get. Now back to the show. This should not be a shock if you've heard me talk about certifications and development before. I love the admin certification because it gives you a good foundation and understanding of the Salesforce platform and Salesforce development is hard on its own having to layer in figuring out like how does Salesforce work at the same time can be really hard and overwhelming for a lot of new devs. Getting the admin certification will help in things like objects and fields and automation, what are reports, how do flows work and when to use them. I think it's very important for learning in a dev's career to get those declarative items and options at their disposal. Studying and passing the admin cert will also help you pass the PD-1 exam because the concepts from the admin exam will show up on the PD-1 exam. So after getting your admin certification, I also don't recommend getting Platform Developer 1. I recommend getting Platform App Builder. 
and the app builder certification has a lot of overlap once again with admin and PD1, but it focuses more on design and implementation of solutions on the Salesforce platform. It will once again give you a broader declarative understanding of the platform and help you deep dive into other capabilities that are on the platform and things that you should learn about and things that your code will actually touch. So they're all related together. And just with relatively like a little bit more studying, you'll be able to get another certification and pass the app builder exam after you have your admin exam. And you know, what's always better than having one certification, it's two. And in eyes of the recruiters and companies, it'll look a lot better to have more certifications. It'll just set you above the competition than have, you know, people are all fighting for the same job. Maybe you both have the same credentials. Well, it may bump you higher in the list if you have two certifications. Another benefit of getting the admin and app builder certifications before your PD1 is that you can potentially get a job as a Salesforce admin. So while you're learning development, you're also an admin and you're gaining experience there as well. And you're not like, you know, struggling to just find developer jobs. This is really good because you'll be inside of the ecosystem, gaining experience, and then working your way into that development role. Only after getting admin and app builder, I will finally recommend getting PD1 or the platform developer one certification. Like I mentioned earlier, PD1 is an entry level certification that all devs should have no excuse. If you're developing at least for like a year on the platform, you should have your PD one. And it really proves that you know how to develop and write custom code and use programmatic principles on the Salesforce platform. This exam focuses a lot on apex and when to use it and what to use, but there will also be some aspects of visual force and lightning web components. Once you have the platform developer one certification, companies will start throwing themselves at you. Recruiters will jump through windows just to get your name. And since you have multiple certifications, if you followed my path, it's going to be a breeze for you to get in the door and have interviews at different companies. You'll understand the platform holistically. And this is why I kind of recommend that approach for these certifications. But PD1 is your must have certifications, but the other ones will really help you get your foot in the door and have a better chance at landing that job. Now you can stop there and I know many successful devs that just have those certifications or even less and that's fine, but there are also three other certifications as of right now that I recommend that you get after you've worked as a dev for a little bit and you want to kind of prove your experience. Those certifications are Platform Developer 2, so that's the first one, and the JavaScript Developer 1 certification, and then the Integration Architect certification. So Platform Developer 2 is the big brother of PD2. It focuses more on advanced development techniques, and I recommend that you at least have probably two to three years of experience before even attempting Platform Developer 2. The JavaScript Developer 1 certification is for those that work more on the web side of things, so using Lightning Web Components, and you have a good understanding of the basics of web technologies like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. This certification is for you. And then the Integration Architect is a number, another specialized certification for those that work on a lot of scalable design with integrations and you're pulling platforms together. You know, the Integration Architect is a really great one for you. None of the last three certifications are must have, but they do add to your credibility as a developer. So employers may be looking for them in the future. Um, I want to continue to mention that you know, you don't need these certifications to be successful. I know plenty of developers that are very successful. They can code me into the box that don't have any of those certifications. For a lot of you just starting out with no experience, certifications are a great way to prove to employers and recruiters that you know what you're talking about, right? It gives you that base level credibility 
that Salesforce agreed on, they agreed on, everybody agrees on when you pass the exam and the certification that you know what you're talking about. One other quick note for other certifications, degrees, credentials that exist out there, especially in the computer science field, is that go for it, right? Learning more can never hurt you. If something exists out there, like the Google certifications or credentials, um, if it interests you, try it out, complete it. It's only going to help you learning code and building on those foundations. So I always recommend trying to code every day or as much as you can. And getting a degree in like computer science will help you get a deeper understanding. So if those things really help you understand things better, I would say go after those types of things. So this is my recommendation and my kind of like direct path to a Salesforce job. Go for that admin cert, app builder and PD1. From my experience as a hiring manager and being in the ecosystem for seven plus years, I've had multiple roles, multiple jobs, and multiple certifications. You know, it's really about having that willingness to learn, continuing to stack things on up on top of each other, and problem solving. And once you get your foot in the door, you're breaking into the Salesforce ecosystem. The sky's the limit after that. So these certs and things like that will really help you break in, put your best foot forward and just thrive from there. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you agree on my kind of trifecta of certifications to take to be successful, let me know in the comments down below. If you disagree, tell me the ones that you think are better to have. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that button and like this video if it was helpful to you. As always, I'm Walters954 and remember, I believe in you.